Hi, this is Dave, and today I'll be reviewing a book that I've had for many, many years. It's Build Your Own Telescope, uh, Complete Plans for Five Telescopes You Can Build with Simple Hand Tools by Richard Berry. This book retails for about $29.95, but you can pick one up used for as low as $8.99 plus shipping. Just check uh, Amazon or eBay. You should be able to get one for cheap. Uh, this book has plans for building a 4-inch F10 reflector, a 6-inch F8 Dapsonian reflector, 6-inch F8 equatorial reflector, 10-inch Dapsonian reflector, and a 6-inch six, six F15 refractor. There is also a section with instructions how to grind, polish, and figure a primary mirror. If you don't want to make your own optics, this book, book has an appendix with contact information to buy various parts and optics. You can also go to Astromart or eBay to pick up a lot of the parts. The first three chapters in this book are of utmost importance, and I suggest you read them before deciding which of the five scopes you're going to build. The first chapter is which telescope is for you, and it discusses magnification, light gathering, aperture, and the different types of optical tube assemblies. After reading this chapter, you'll know whether you want to build a reflector, refractor or a reflector. I personally recommend a reflector for your first scope. Chapter 2 explains how a damn telescope works in the first place. Reflection and refraction are covered along with the associated aberrations with each type. Resolving power and, diffractions, uh, and diffraction are also a key topic. Be sure to read about the different refractor lens types so you'll know why an apochromatic lens knocks the socks off an acromat or a simple lens. Chapter 3 covers telescope mountings. Altazimuth mountings such as the Dobsonian and Squatting Dog type are covered. Equatorial mountings are also covered, but I would stick to the Dobsonian mounting for your first telescope because a beginner has enough headaches without uh, uh, trying to figure out how to pull or align an equatorially mounted telescope. The first telescope plans in this book are for a 4-inch F10 reflector on a squatting dog type equatorial mount. The plans are very simple and include a list of all parts needed and diagrams of all the wood parts that you'll have to cut. The tube mount and mirror cell are all made of wood. The only parts you'll need to buy besides basic hardware are the mirror, secondary stock, focuser, and eyepieces. This telescope would be ideal for a small kid because a telescope of this type can withstand a lot of abuse. An adult would want something with more aperture and hence light gathering and resolving power. The second telescope plans covered in this book is a 6-inch F8 Dobsonian reflector, and it's my personal recommendation for someone making their first telescope. It has enough light gathering to be useful for more than just the moon and planets, and Dobsonian mounts are solid and extremely easy to use. Some of the highlights of this design are the film canisters that are used for altitude bearings and the homemade mirror cell that holds the primary in place with silicon instead of contrast robbing metal clips that go over the mirror. The third telescope is a 6-inch F8 equatorial reflector uh, that actually has a round tube instead of a box-shaped tube. The mount this telescope uses is much more complicated to make than the other mounts in the, this book but it will re reward you with north-south, east-west movements of the scope after you get it polar aligned. The mount isn't motorized, so it won't track objects for you. If your scope just has to have an equatorial mount on it, uh, choose this design. The fourth telescope is a 10-inch Dobsonian reflector. It shares a lot of similarities with the 6-inch F8 Dobsonian, but the mount is a lot beefier to hold the extra weight. The light gathering resolving power is far greater on this scope than any of the other designs in this book. If you wish to spend a lot of your observing time viewing deep sky objects such as galaxies and star clusters, this scope is definitely for you. The fifth telescope is a 6 inch F15 ref refractor with a huge alt azimuth mount. I guess every telescope making book has to cover making a big refractor. Most of you would not want a scope this tall, I know I wouldn't. Uh, really, the scope is most suited to advanced planetary observers, and beginners would be better off with a reflector. The plans are here, though, if you really want to make a refractor. You'll definitely have to buy the optics, though, because this book doesn't cover making refractor optics, only uh, covers making mirrors. 
Uh, chapter 9 is about mirror cells, spiders, focusers, finders, and eyepieces, eyepieces. I recommend making the mirror cell and buying the rest of these parts. Chapter 10 is about grinding, polishing, and figuring a primary mirror in case you want to make your own optics. Uh, chapter 11, 11 that covers testing a primary mirror and star testing. Star testing is the best way to te test the optics on any telescope, and it's a useful skill to have even if you uh, buy a scope instead of building one. Really, it's the best way to tell if a scope has good optics. The last chapter is about observing with your telescope, and you should definitely read this chapter before taking your new scope out for a test drive. After all, you want to know what to look at, don't you? Overall, I found this book to be well-written with good plans. Some of the telescope plans are more interesting than others, but if you read the whole book, you'll have enough knowledge to pick and choose different parts from different designs to make your own custom scope. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the review.